Do you have this problem with your early 90s Ford? Well, today we're going to show you how to read codes. Alright, this particular vehicle is a 92 Ranger. <clears throat> uh, this process will work from with any Ford from late 80s or early 90s Fords. It'll work with Aerostars, F-150s, F-250s, Rangers. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is find your fuse panel, fuse box, whatever you want to call it, and somewhere next to it should be a little connector that says EEC test. Alright, and what you're going to want to do is uh, pull the plugs out of this connector. This little gray one here is just going to pull out. The larger plug here has a tab on the front of it. You push the tab out and pull the uh, connector out. Alright, once you have your connectors out of their little plug, you're going to want to take a piece of wire, any piece of wire, and jump them. And I'm going to hold the camera still for a second so you can get a good shot of this. You know exactly where to put the wires. Okay, once you have your wires jumped, you're going to get in your car and you're going to turn your ignition to the run position, but not start it. And what's going to happen is your check engine light's going to start flashing, and we're just going to count the uh, flashes. It'll tell us the codes. So here we go. Three, two, seven. Three, two, seven, one, three, two. Seven, three, two, eight, three, two. Seven, three, two, seven. Okay, after you're done reading all your codes, just go ahead and shut the ignition off for right now. Now what you're going to have to do, I like to use Google. But you're going to have to take all those codes and you're going to have to figure out what they all mean. Uh, once you figure out what they all mean, you have to address your problem accordingly. And at that point, once everything's fixed to reset the codes, the easiest way to do it, the easiest way I find to do it, is just to unhook the battery for about 10 minutes and let it sit there. Uh, before you plug the battery back in, make sure you take your jumper wire out and you're done. Remember to like, subscribe, and Hopefully this helps somebody.